What's going on everybody? This is Lasora and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a separated glitch effect using Final Cut Pro 10.4 which is as of I'm speaking right now the latest version of Final Cut Pro. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First and foremost, let's bring out the effect browser. Go to the search bar and then type in bad TV effect. Select that and then drop it to your footage. Head over to the static type and set it to TV static. Go back to the search bar and then type in prism. Drag that and then drop it to your footage. Set the amount to around 13 to 14. Go back to the bad TV effect in the inspector and then click this masking tool icon. Choose add color mask. Click on the subject you wish to apply the separated glitch. Set the softness of the color mask to around 35 to 40. However, in order to remove the unwanted areas that have been affected by the color masking tool applied earlier, we will need to create a layer for our footage. Simply copy and paste your clip by pressing Command C and then Command V on your keyboard. Drag the duplicated version of your clip to the top of your original clip. Select the bottom row clip and then head over to the inspector. Deselect the effects including the bat TV and the prism effect. Go back to the search bar in the effect browser and then type in shape mask. Select that and then drop it to the top row of your two clips. Adjust the outline box so that it fits the subject of your clip. Because our subject is moving, we will need to track his movements frame by frame. So let's head back to the shape mass effect in the inspector. Click this arrow key to drop down the transforms tool. Select the keyframes including position, rotation and size. You can easily scrub through your clip in the timeline by pressing and holding the right arrow key as you move the anchor point frame by frame in order to manually track the subject's movement. So now that's done, let's see what the final result looks like. So that's it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you find this tutorial somewhat useful and if you did please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short films and Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comment section down below, I'll be more than happy to help. Good luck with your project and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!